Today I'm going to look at time series analysis. We're going to look at three calculations. We're going to find out how to calculate the seasonal variation, the average seasonal variation, and we're going to forecast the value of the actual data over time. Okay, here's an example of actual data that we have. Google search interest over time for the term ice cream. And if I was to plot this data, we could actually see what the data looked like over these three years. So, so we might like to find out what this actual search term or this actual data would look like in the year, say, 2014. So let's just get rid of that diagram and we'll calculate the seasonal component. In time series analysis, we have a formula where the actual data is equal to the trend plus the seasonal component. So we have the trend data here, and we're going to use what's known as the additive method to find value for this. Quite simply, it's S is equal to Y minus T. And we can't do quarter four for 2013 because we don't have trend data, so we'll worry about that later on. So we're going to use these S values to help us to find the average value or the likely value of the seasonal component in the year 2014. So we're just going to average up each of these individual quarters. So I'm going to create a table that helps me put all this together. Now, here's my table. So I have it outlined where I have the years 2011, 2013 here and the quarters one to four. And all that does is organizes each of the quarters so I can average them out. So I'm just copying and pasting them in. So that they're organized like so. Where we have all quarter ones are under each other. Likewise with quarter twos, quarter threes, and quarter fours. Next thing we need to do is we're going to get the total of each of these. And then we'll get the average of them. And that's known as your seasonal average. So the first are divided by three. Likewise with quarter two and quarter three. And in this example, we've only two seasonal values for quarter four, so we need to divide that by two. So in time series, what we need to find out here for the seasonal average is that they must total to zero. And if they don't total to zero, we're going to adjust some of them in order to have that value of zero. So I'm just going to put in a heading here, total, which is going to be totaling these seasonal average figures. Okay, so now what we see here is that we have a total of 3.94. For the additive method, what we're looking for is a total of zero. So we're going to readjust by a total of minus 3.94. And that will give me a zero. Now the adjustment must take place. And what we'll do is we'll split that 3.94 possibly up into four parts. It can be equal parts and we'll just break them up and adjust each of these seasonal average figures for each quarter. I wouldn't necessarily make an adjustment of 3.94 on any individual seasonal average. So I'm going to adjust this one by a minus one. Likewise, I'll do the same here. I'll do the same with this one. And I'll adjust this one by minus 0.94. So there I have my adjustments totaling minus 3.94, which is what I was looking for. And now I have what we could call a, an adjusted seasonal average, which is just simply adding the seasonal average with your adjustment.
And there we have our figures for the adjusted seasonal average, and again they show total to zero. Our next step is to estimate the trend figures for 2014 so that we can forecast the actual data for 2014. The formula in order to get the change in a trend is given as the last minus the first over the n minus one. So in order to calculate the trend, we just get the last trend data. Take it away from the first trend figure. So n in this case here are the number of trend figures we have available. So don't take the number of quarters. So as we can see, the trend moves on average by 4.73 quarter on quarter. So we're going to use this 4.73 to help us forecast what the trend is going to be like for the year 2014. So what I'm going to put in here is your 2014. We'll also use the same four quarters. And we're going to continue on with this trend data until we get to the end of 2014. So simply we just add on 4.733. So let's just add on the change in trend figure to the last trend data. So I just want to lock in the dollar J dollar and 16 in order to keep that 4.73. Okay, so there's our estimated trend. We're going to take the values of the adjusted seasonal average we found in earlier on, and we're going to put those in the respective quarters, quarter one to quarter four. So I'll just copy those and paste special them so that I tr transpose those values back in. And in order to find y, it's simply y is equal to t plus s. So there you have it, a forecast of what the actual data would look like in 2014 based on our trend data we just estimated and your adjusted seasonal average we actually found earlier. So in order to see what this looks like over time, let's plot the actual data. Here you can see what our forecast will look like for the year 2014. And again, if we wanted to put the trend in there. And we can see how the trend changes with the actual data. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe or watch the other videos that I have here. I'd love to have any comments or any suggestions on what you'd like me to actually take a look at next.